If you've been using Gentoo for a while, you might have noticed that your hard drive space starts to get filled up a little bit faster than it does on other distros. And this makes sense when you start to think about it, because on Gentoo, we use Portage to install our packages, which doesn't just unpack a tarball with a pre-compiled binary like Pac-Man or Apt or the package managers on 99% of the other different Linux distros, it actually pulls down the source code of your packages and then compiles it into a unique binary for you to use locally on your system. So in a way, your hard drive space is going to fill up twice as fast with packages because you're going to have both the source code and the completed binary sitting on your hard drive. But once you have the binary compiled in a way that satisfies you with whatever use flags and whatnot that you want to use, there's not a whole lot of reason to keep the source code around. And also, if you're downloading pre-compiled binaries, then they're going to remain in the var cache bin packages directory or whichever directory you defined as your pkg dir in your make.com file. So it's important to clean those directories to keep your drive from getting full. And thankfully, you don't have to do it manually. You could use this tool called eClean to easily take care of it. Now, eClean is part of the Gen Toolkit package. So to get that along with other very useful portage utilities, you want to go ahead and emerge app portage gen toolkit. And hopefully you already have that before your drive gets too full. Otherwise you're going to have to sacrifice some memes or some animes or some other type of important data to free up the rest of your hard drive. And this Drive getting full can be a real problem, especially if you're using a bunch of packages and you've had your Gentoo system up for a long time and you've done a lot of updates to it or you've tried emerging packages with a bunch of different types of use flags because all of that is going to stay on your hard drive because the source code of older versions of your packages that you updated are going to stay on your system. If I were to actually go over to my dist files directory in var cache dist files, uh, this is where all of the source code for packages is kept. I can do an ls, and you'll see that there is quite a bit that is going on in here. And I don't even have that many packages installed on my system. Like, you know, I've got a fairly minimal system that's going on here. Uh, I could just imagine what it would look like if I were to use a full desktop environment and have over a thousand packages like I know a lot of other Linux users have. So eClean is gonna be pretty important to any Gentoo user. And the first thing that I recommend doing with eClean and with pretty much any other command line utility is to read the output from the help flag uh, or the man page to get a more in-depth look. So after doing a quick eClean help, it gives us the different command flags that we can use with eClean. So we can see that uh, deep, for example, is going to do a deeper removal of these packages. It's only going to keep the minimum amount necessary to reinstall the packages. And you can use E to point to an exclusion file, which will contain a list of packages that you don't want to be cleaned. And you could use the I flag to get an interactive prompt that will basically ask you to say yes or no before each deletion. Now, some things that aren't listed in this help output, um, I think they are listed on the man page though, they definitely are on the Gentoo wiki is that by default, eClean is going to protect all of the dist files or binary packages that are in your current eBuild repository. 
And this is so that you can still easily downgrade a package or install a previously removed package. And I'm pretty sure that it's going to do this for the last two versions of your packages, you know, whichever versions of the packages that you have installed. And the whole reason for this is so that you can just easily downgrade to a previous version if the newer one is causing you some problems uh, or if it's just not working right. So if you're going to do something other than this, it's a good idea to make sure that the latest version of your packages really is the one that you want, especially if it's considered unstable. Make sure that it's at least stable for you, which is all that really matters. As long as something is stable for you, then you might as well live on the bleeding edge. And using eClean with the deep option is not going to allow you to do this though. If you use the deep option in combination with the package names option, then you'll still get the effect where you can't easily reinstall the packages without fully emerging them, but you'll still be able to downgrade them. So let's start doing an eClean on my system. I've done an eClean uh, maybe a couple of weeks ago, so I don't think that there's really gonna be too much to delete. Um, but let's do eClean in the sexiest way possible. Let's do eClean dist with the DP flag. So obviously what DP did here is it went deep, but it only pretended to do so. Um, and just to make sure that you don't get confused, the eClean dist is shorthand for doing eClean dist files. Um, just like how eClean PKG is going to be short for eClean packages. Uh, but of course, I don't have any binary boys on my system. I compile everything, so eClean PKG isn't going to be very useful to me. Uh, so let's finish this video with a real eClean because... Um, it told me that I've got 1.3 gigs here that I can delete. So let's eClean dist and let's just do deep. Oh, of course, got to be root to do it. Now, you may get an output like this where doing a deep clean that the following unavailable installed packages were found. And this occurs when a package's ebuild has been removed from the Gentoo ebuild repository and the package is still installed on the system. And generally, this occurs because they are still listed in Portage's world file. So you can take care of that by doing an emerge deselect or an emerge dep clean to deselect that package from the world file as well as unmerge the packages. And then you can just go ahead and run eClean again to clean up the disk files that were left behind by those packages. Um, but anyway, as you can see, I have another 1.3 GB available on my system. Uh, I can do DF again to show that the percentage has also been reduced. Uh, so as always, I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, be sure to share it with Gen2 users that are running low on disk space, Gen2 users that have lots of disk space, and while you're at it, go ahead and share it with Windows users too, who don't even know what Gen2 is, they have no idea about eClean, and they're just forced to use add or remove programs to free up their disk space. I mean, just the thought of having to do that is starting to make me sick. And uh, yeah, of course, like and subscribe. Peace out, guys.